Welcome to this total body slow flow yoga class. <laughs> Just kidding, there won't be any of that. I'm Kate and this is going to be a very meditative class. And even though this is a slow flow yoga class, we're still gonna have to bring in some of that power that we always have inside of us to hold some of these postures for a little bit longer. So if you practice this class and you're feeling it, give it a loving thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe if you want to practice more yoga together. I drop new classes each week so we can deepen our practice together. Now let's go ahead and get started. All right, friends, you might already be on your mat right now, and we're just going to stand up and we're going to step off of our mat because what we're going to do is we're going to find an intention and then step onto our mat with that intention and have this be a really sacred place for our practice today and maybe even bring it into your practices for the next week or longer. So take a big inhale in. Exhale it out, soften the face, soften the shoulders. And how do you wanna show up on your mat today? Or how do you want your day to look? How do you wanna move through your day? Maybe just think of a single word. Bring that into your heart center. Maybe you close down the eyes. Single focus on your intention. My single word is love. And so really intentionally with one foot and then the other, I'm gonna step onto my mat with my word in mind. Beautiful. Now let's go ahead and take an easy seat. However that looks like to you, maybe on your knees, maybe you're in toes pose. I'm gonna take it cross-legged. And we'll just take a few breaths together. So if you'd like to, you can place one hand on your navel, the other hand on your heart, and feel the physical breath in your body. Maybe you close down the eyes, and we'll set ourselves up. So a long spine here, long neck, gentle tuck of the chin, soft close of the eyes if it suits you. Inhale the shoulders up to your ears, and exhale, pour them down your back. Two more times like that. Inhale up. Exhale, down, inhale up, exhale, down. So we'll bring our awareness in, but we'll start from the outside. So tap into the sounds around you, maybe the scents, the lighting, not in a judgmental way, just an awareness of what is around you. Allow it lovingly to be a part of your practice. Then turn it in, one click inward to your physical body. Feel gravity, yourself seated on your mat. Maybe your hair brushing, your skin, your clothes soft against your body. Again, no judgment, just an awareness. It's all good. And we'll click it in one more time, deeper. And rest your attention on your breath. Feel your lungs fill up with air expanding in all directions. And exhale it out. Seal the lips if they're not already. Big inhale through the nose. And exhale through the nose. Two more times, just like that. Make this one a little bit bigger. Inhale. Exhale. A little bit bigger, a little bit longer now. Inhale. 
exhale beautiful place your right hand by your right hip and draw a big circle with your left arm inhale it forward up and over reach to the side of the room and then on your exhale cactus it down open through the shoulder the left hand plants draw a big circle with your right hand inhale it forward up and over reach to the side of the room spiral the chest open and on your exhale cactus down that's the move so plant the right hand inhale left arm up exhale down plant the left hand inhale right hand up cactus down with your breath your inhales always expand you up your exhale brings it down inhale it up exhale down two more times each side inhale it up reach exhale down inhale it up exhale it down then plant your right hand by your right hip inhale your left arm up and over we're gonna stay this time so instead of dumping over we're gonna arch up and over like a rainbow so lots of integrity in the side body and glue your left hip bone to the floor. See how when you bring energy to that left hip bone, you increase the stretch in the side body. So imagine gills on your left rib cage, breathe into them, expand. And spiral your chest open towards the sky, look up under your arm. Reach with the left hand, nice lateral stretch. Three more breaths here. Beautiful, your inhale brings you up and your exhale switches sides, so left hand plants. Inhale your right arm up and over. So we're really arching up with our side body glue your right hip bone to the ground feel how that deepens the stretch energy is coming out of your right fingertips and breathe into your right side ribs spiral the chest open look up under your right hand for three more breaths These lateral stretches, these side body stretches are so good. We don't get enough of them in our day to day. Your inhale brings you up to center and we will we'll almost roll over into tabletop. First, we're gonna take some wrist warm up. So bring the back of the wrist together and we're gonna roll our fingertips towards us, then away from us, then down. So we're drawing like a 360 circle with the back of the wrists together. Just a nice little warm up for the wrists. Make it loving, almost like a little massage. And then reverse the circle. And then put the arms out straight and flick the water off your fingertips. So we're blinking them open, bringing a little circulation. And then grab fists, make them strong, and nod them up and down, a yes movement. Yes, I can. And then no, no, I don't doubt myself. And then we'll roll over our knees and find a tabletop position. We're gonna take a modified cat cow, so we're gonna bring in some intention into this transition. So ground into the fingertips. If you have sensitive wrists, claw into the mat. That'll protect your wrists. Bring your weight onto your right side and inhale, lift your left leg up, bent at a 90 degree angle. Keep it at the top here. Feel how that activates the glutes. Bring the core in. Hold, but be soft about it. And then extend the leg, still holding, keep the height, and then bring the foot to the floor. We're going to take cat cows here. You're going to feel a deep hip stretch. So inhale, look up, tummy drops, tail rises. 
Exhale, round through each vertebrae, nice and sweetly. Bring the top of your spine towards the front of the room, chin to chest. Inhale, look up, tummy drops, hip bones reach to the sky. Shine your chest through the gateway of your arms. Exhale, chin to chest, press the mat away. Inhale, look up. Exhale, round. Inhale, look up. Exhale, round. Come to neutral, squeeze the glute. Bring the left leg straight up. Hold for a moment, feel the glutes, feel the IT band. Then bend the leg, hold, lift it up and then drop it back to center. We'll switch it out. So inhale your right leg up 90 degrees. Lift it nice and high. Feel the activation in the glute. And then extend the leg. Keep that height. <laughs> and then drop the foot to the floor. And we'll take the same cat cows on this side. So inhale, lifts your gaze. Tummy drops, hip bones rise. Exhale, round. See if you can make it really fluid with your breath now. Inhale, look up. Exhale, empty everything out, navel to spine. Deepen your breath here. Make it a full body breath. Two more. Beautiful, come to neutral, intentional with the leg. Squeeze the glute, lift it up to hip height if you can. Then bend the leg 90 degree, keep it high, and then lower it down. And walk your knees back on your mat. We're gonna walk our hands forward and find a shoulder and chest opener, puppy pose. So our chest melts down towards the mat. But before we find a deep puppy, and you can have your arms as wide as the mat here, or for an, a little bit more of a challenging posture, you can walk your hands inward. Before we find a still puppy, we're going to take some puppy cat cows. So same motion like how we just did. So exhale, round. Bring your chin to your chest. Bring your ribs towards your hips. You're rounding through each vertebrae of your back. And then on your inhale, you look towards your fingertips, arch your back, hip bones rise. Exhale, round. Inhale, look up. Exhale, round. Inhale, look up. One more time. Exhale, round. Inhale, look up, or you can drop your forehead to the floor, puppy pose. Find your deep breath here. Acknowledge, send love to the sensation in your shoulders and your elbows. Deep breaths. Have an easy face here, so even if this is a challenging or intense posture, you can always come out of it and then come back in, but keep a neutral face. Allow it to be soft, allow it to be loving. Two more breaths here, make them full. Beautiful, slowly and sweetly. Bring your arms and your hands back to meet your body. Roll up to the tabletop, tuck the toes, and we'll lift our hips back first, and then up into downward dog. Pedal out your dog really intentionally here. Make it slow. Bend one knee, and then reach the opposite heel towards the mat. And after you've pedaled it out for a little bit, 
Inhale both heels up on your tiptoes. And then exhale, lower all the way close to the mat. And just hold here in a static downward dog. Bring your navel in, press the hands away. Beautiful. With intention, we're gonna inhale, ripple up to a plank, but before we start, start with your hips. So tuck your hip bone under, allow that to roll through your mid spine, then the top of your spine, and then your neck is elastic to straighten out. Knees on or off the mat, we'll lower for a count of four, three, two, one. Inhale to a cobra, shine the chest forward or up dog. And then exhale through tabletop, tuck the toes downward, dog. So we'll do it two more times like that, very mindful. On your inhale, start with the hips, roll the hips under, allow that to come into your mid spine, top the spine, neck is the last thing to straighten out, plank pose. Knees on or off the mat, lower for four, three, elbows in towards the body, two, one. Legs together, inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale through tabletop, tuck the toes, downward dog. One more time. Start with the hips, roll, inhale to plank pose. Knees on or off the mat, lower for four, three, two, one, inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, downward dog. Two full breaths in downward here. Nice. And then on your inhale, we're gonna take a journey up to the top of our mat with a whole bunch of slow, mindful steps up. With each step, feel your heel, the ball of your feet, your toes, contact the mat. Feel the stretch through your calves, the Achilles tendon. And when you get there, inhale to a half lift, long spine, contract the shoulders, navel in. Exhale, fold. And put the weight in your heels. Inhale, roll up vertebrae by vertebrae. See how slow you can do it. Inhale the arms up overhead. Create space between your ribs and your hip bones. Look up towards your fingertips. And exhale your hands to heart center. Bring in your word, your intention that you stepped on your mat with. Let your shoulders be easy, your face be easy. Beautiful. Inhale the arms up, reach up. And exhale, swan dive, forward fold. Inhale to a half lift, long spine, navel in. And we're gonna do this next transition almost as if we're coming through a warrior three. So very slow, make it a count of five. So we're gonna step our right foot back, but really, really slowly. See how soft you can step back, coming through a straight leg, touch down sweetly, and then stay here in this lunge. So fingertips on the ground, reach the chest forward, reach the back heel back. Make this a very long lunge. How long can you make it? Lift the back knee up towards the ceiling. Again, shining the chest forward so we're not caving in on ourselves. And then lower the back heel or the back knee. Untuck the back toe. Inhale, both arms up. On your exhale, hips sink forward and down. On your inhale, raise your arms. Energy coming through your fingertips. Maybe you look up at your fingertips. Keep your ribs in, close to your hip bones here. Option to take Kali Mudra, all fingers intertwined except for the pointer finger and the thumb, and point them towards the back of the room. Maybe your gaze follows your fingertips, taking a little bit of a back bend here. 
And an inhale brings you back to center. Left hand comes to the floor. Right hand reaches up and over for a lateral stretch. Feel that in the psoas of your right hip. Breathe, deep breaths here. Exhale, swim your right hand down and your hips back in space, straighten through the front leg, but you can have a bend in the knee. Your toes are pointed back at your face and click your left hip back in line with your right hip. Press your heel into the mat a lot, so you're gonna feel that activation. And we're gonna find some jellyfish-like movements here. So an inhale to a long spine and maybe you have your blocks under your hands and your exhale fold you forward, be loose, surrender. And your inhale brings you to a long spine and your exhale folds you in, release. So like a jellyfish swimming through the ocean with its movements. On our inhale, we lengthen. Exhale, fold. And these can be little movements depending on where you're at. But find the essence, find the spirit of it. Beautiful. One more, inhale. And then exhale, fold it in nice and easy. Your next inhale rebends your front leg, shine the chest forward, tuck the back toe. We're gonna make this a very strong transition. So from here, we're gonna lift the back knee on the inhale, arms rise overhead, very strong. Energy coming through the fingertips and sink the hips down a little bit further. See if you can get your hips in line with your front knee. So an inhale brings you up, reaches you up a little bit. Your exhale sinks you in. For three more. Easy gaze with the eyes. Keep the back leg strong. And exhale, both hands frame the front foot. Step the left foot back to meet the right foot. Knees on or off the mat. Lower for three, two, one. Inhale, up dog, shine the chest forward. Back chain is activated. Exhale, down dog. Beautiful. Stillness and down dog. Lift the hip bones up towards the sky. Press your chest towards your knees using your hands. Navel in. Inhale. Exhale. One more time. Inhale. Exhale. Slow walk up. Feel the stretch of the entire leg to meet your hand. Beautiful. When you get there, inhale to a half lift. Shoulders contract down your back. Exhale forward, fold. Really slow, weight in your heels. Make it as slow as you can. Inhale, come up to standing. Inhale, the arms up overhead. And exhale, palms kiss, hands to heart center, bring in your intention. Feel your heart beating in your chest, the vitality. Send a little gratitude to our heart for always working. We never have to tell it to. It's just always pumping away. Beautiful. Inhale the arms up. Reach up, lengthen through the side body and the ribs. Exhale, swan dive, chest first, forward, fold. Inhale to a long spine, half lift. Exhale, make this transition really strong, but really slow. Step the left foot up in the air behind you, almost like a warrior three supported. And then exhale it, touch down, really softly with the back foot. Stay in a lunge with the fingertips on the mat. Make it a very long lunge, so maybe you crawl your front foot forward, but shine your chest forward, reach the back heel back, and lift the back knee. Beautiful. 
On your next exhale, lower your knee down, untuck the back toe, and inhale, both arms skyward. On your exhale, allow the hips to sink forward and down. Your inhale brings energy through your fingertips. They're active. Your exhales sink you further in. Option to come to Kalamudra with the hands. All fingers intertwined except for the thumb and pointer. Bring your gaze up towards your fingertips and send your mudra towards the back of the room, taking a little bit of a back bend. Breathe. Exhale, come through center. Bring the right hand to the mat. Left hand comes up and over for a lateral stretch. Feel it in your left hip. Again, imagine gills on the side of your body, the left ribs, breathe into them, expand. Inhale, come to center, and exhale, shift the hips back, straighten through the right leg, but you can have a bend in the knee, toes come pointing back towards your face. Click your right heel or your right hip back so that both hip bones are like the headlights of a car facing forward. And inhale to a long, long spine. We're gonna find that jellyfish organic movement. So find your long spine. And then exhale, surrender and release, lower it down. Just hang for the exhale. And inhale, activates, straighten. Exhale, fold and release. Inhale, activates, straighten the spine. Exhale, fold and release. Two more times. Inhale, activate and straighten. Exhale, fold and release. One more. Inhale, activate and straighten. Exhale, fold and release. Inhale, rebend the front leg, shine the chest forward, tuck the back toe, engage the inner thighs and engage the core, so navel in already right here. On your next inhale, inhale very powerful, rise up to crescent. So arms overhead, back leg straight, back heel reaching towards the back of the room. On your next exhale, sink a little bit deeper. So allow your inhales to reach your arms up and your exhales to sink you deeper. Try to get your forearms by your ears. Three more breaths here. Core in, navel on. Nice, on your exhale, both hands frame the front foot. Step the right foot back, lower all the way down or halfway down through your chaturanga for three, two, one. Inhale to an up dog or cobra. And exhale, hips up, downward dog. Two breaths here. Make them full, so bring your navel in. Reach the hips down towards the mat and press into all the fingers of your hands. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Beautiful. Release your knees onto the mat. You can sit on your heels or come into a toes pose with your toes tucked. Let your inhale Breathe your arms up, and your exhale brings them through a cactus, open through the chest and the shoulders. Clasp hands or shoulders, excuse me, elbows behind the back, and open through the chest. So keep the ribs in here, but raise the sternum towards the sky, so the place right between your collarbones. So keep an easy face here. An option to stay here and take a few breaths. 
or option four, camel. So you can keep your heels tucked or your toes tucked to give you a little bit more height. Or you can come up to your knees, engage the core, keep the hips over the knees, and inhale back into camel pose. So maybe you start with one hand, or maybe you come straight into hands on blocks or hands on heels. Open through the chest, let it be easy, don't push too much. You can keep your chin tucked, or if you'd like to release your head back, you may do so. If you find that releasing the head back is harder to breathe, here's a little trick. Press your tongue into the space where your front teeth meet the gums right in the back there, and it opens up the windpipe for you. Two more breaths. Make it easy, make it light. And then inhale, come up. Let the neck be the last thing to straighten up. And take a breather. Take it easy. And we'll bring both of our feet in front of us, bottom of the feet together, butterfly pose. So it doesn't really matter how far away your feet are from your body. Bring the soles together, our soles together. And then inhale to a long spine. And exhale, lean it forward to whatever degree, bringing your navel towards the mat. A nice hip stretch here. So allow your body to be somewhat soft here. I teach an active version of this, which is a long spine and then engaging your core and your glutes to bring you lower. And you can try that and see how you like it. But you can also have the option of really letting gravity do the work here and really surrendering to this posture. Two more breaths. Maybe you hug it in a little bit deeper, a little bit sweeter. Beautiful. Inhale it all the way up to a seat. If you're towards the back of your mat, then just scoot forward. I'm gonna keep the bottom of my feet together, but you have the option to bring your legs out straight and we're gonna slowly roll down onto our backs. So just letting our hips be open here, letting gravity assist us. If that's a lot, you can put blocks under your legs here or just straighten them out. Option to place one hand on your navel, the other hand on your heart. And you can close down the eyes here, but keep the heart and the mind open. So as we practice, part of what's going to strengthen and deepen our practice and our inner work is stillness. So this posture is equally as important as any of the other ones today. Surrender to it by allowing your shoulders to release onto the floor. Release your forehead, the space between your eyebrows, the space around the eyes. Release the jaw, relax the throat, and just take a few breaths in stillness. Wherever you are at, 
start to tap fingertips to fingertips, wiggle your toes, roll out your ankles, roll out your wrists. Start to maybe pucker your lips and open up your mouth just a little bit to bring a little bit of movement into your face. Maybe you wag your tail a little bit and then inhale your arms overhead and stretch along like a cat. Now roll over to your favorite side. Bring your hands under your head for a little pillow fetal position. And then in your own time and feel free to take it really slow. Come up to a seated position. Keep the eyes closed down here. Nice soft face. Prayer hands directly at your heart. Press your thumbs in. Bring in that word, that intention at the beginning of the class. You embody it. Light in me recognizes light in you. Namaste, my friends.